this is Nicole here to show you really quickly how you can transfer those Zoom meetings to be saved on your OneDrive, and then you can upload it to Seesaw or email it to parents using a link because those files are too big to just send them automatically. So it's pretty easy process. You're going to uh, start off by going into your downloads file or wherever your videos are saved. Mine is called samplevideo.mov. That means it's a movie. You're gonna go to the USD 232 web page and click on Office 365. It's gonna obviously log you in and you're gonna to wanna to open up your OneDrive. So now here we want to upload from our sample video so that, or take our sample video and upload it to OneDrive. So the very easiest way to do it is to just drag and drop it. Here it will say uploading one item to documents. And then as soon as it loads it, and it will take a while depending on the size of the document, but it will prompt you to copy the link so that you can go ahead and send that to other people. We will come back as soon as it's done. Oh, and there it is. So uploaded one item to documents. So I'm going to share the link and then this little pop-up is gonna pop up. And you want to change the settings here to um, unclick allow editing. And then you're gonna, you can set a password if you want to or an expiration date. I really wouldn't worry about that so much. And you're gonna hit apply. And then you can either send it directly to email addresses this way. I think it's much easier though to copy the link. And then there it says link copied. And then you're just gonna go ahead and open up your Outlook. You're gonna do new email. You're gonna make sure it's coming from the right account. And then here you can just press Command V and it'll put the link in there. And then you can send this to your parent outlook class if you wanted to. Just be sure that in the subject you say exactly what the video is. So Zoom meeting 4.1.20. And then you go ahead and send it. Put in your twos who you want to send it to. I always like to practice on my personal account first. And then hit send. And they should be able to open it whether they are in a on a Mac or an iPad or anything. It just takes them directly to that link. You can also copy that link and just add it into a Seesaw assignment. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any more questions. Bye-bye.